Okay, I'd like to just spend uh, ten minutes uh, together with uh, with Jenny to, to close off the uh, uh, the conference and just to give a little bit of a, an overview of what we've been uh, looking at and, and, and pers uh, some perspectives. What now? So, thank you first of all for spending the last six and a half hours together with us in our company and looking at what we've had on our minds and our plates and what we've been creating of results. Um, I sh should have said this morning that, that you can look at the blue badges, but I could also said look at the red eyes as well. We've been busy. This is what we presented to you as companies, and uh, when we go out from here outside, the, the, the last five uh, workbooks are, are ready for you to take away, and we're very much looking forward to those having an effect uh, in your businesses, and also from you giving us some feedback on these books, uh, any aspects of them at all. I won't dwell on those in any more detail. We've showed you, among many other things, uh, a, a PSS configurator. Please try it, it won't break. And please try all the tools and give us any feedback that you'd, uh, you think is, uh, is, is appropriate. This is a real academic slide and it's about our academic input, so that's why it looks like this. This is what we've contributed, we think, academically. Um, so. Yes, we've got seven workbooks and uh, some, some tools and things, but we've also produced 25 publications in the academic sphere and have some 10 in the pipeline. This is what we're really measured by, by the Research Council, who gives us a lot of the money for this type of research. With three PhD projects on the way, and sorry guys, but I made a guess as to when you're going to finish. January 2014, March 2015, and May 2015. It's a roundabout when the three PhDs will be finished. Um, we're really, really, uh, in fact, proud about the amount of students we've had uh, involved in this project. Six bachelor projects uh, with more than either one or two students there and one currently in the way. Ten master's projects with one or two students in there uh, completed in this area in the Proteus project. Two open industry conferences. This is the second one of them. We've launch the configurator and one thing we'd like to do with it is to use it in fact to test out further. One thing we'd, I didn't mention this morning when, or Christina didn't mention this morning was when you put the report in there's a little piece of text saying that when you press send it's going to send us an anonymous copy of the configurations you've made. So think twice before you do that but please do it because then we can map the type of configurations you're playing with. We'd also like to use the configurator to go out actively into two companies and, and say Let's do this together and configure it together and that we're a little bit more sure about the type of configurations we're making. One externally financed uh, PhD project, uh, Dream Portraits, thanks once again to the Danish Maritime Fund uh, for that. Uh, we've produced 11 tools, nine of them which are completely our own work and the, second, uh, the, the last two uh, we've borrowed from other uh, fields uh, and those are currently now being tested in many different of our partner universities around the world. Um, we believe that we're, we're working hard at least to pair the academic publication that a research group like us has to produce with industry ready publication. So every workbook has at least two journal papers hiding in there and there we're, we're working to get those out into journals at the moment. The idea cards, I'm glad that this can stay on. We think that we have many ideas as to why, how those cards can be used both in teaching but also in research perspectives. Please visit our website, uh, particularly Adria, who we're going to uh, ask to stand up in a minute, you've not met him, uh, has spent a lot of time programming our website and it's full of all of our results, both publications, academic publications and the popular ones, and all the tools which uh, Knut also told you about today. Um, we actually managed to get the same status as, a, as a, a D2 department for the website, so it's not going to disappear within the next couple of years as they normally do when the project's finished. Um, foreign projects, we've just talked about the TORM uh, projects. This is amazing, this is actually on the basis of a master's project that we've started two PhDs. We're very, very happy and proud about that. Um, we've currently made an application to the Environment Agency for a project on eco-innovation where Danish Maritime is an organization is supporting that. Let's see if we get that, but if that comes off, that'll also be a, a very uh, environmental focus on the maritime industry as well and we have other applications to innovation consortia going on. And as Jenny said at the start, we've, been, we've known each other for, since 2004. And we had three attempts to get the funding for Portus. We don't give up too easily. 
and we're going to keep doing that as well. And I told the research council the same this morning. So that was what we produced, but what do we actually think that's, what are our reflections on this? Well, we thought from day one that we were going to producing, be producing concepts, product service system concepts, and we spend a lot of our time setting the boundary conditions. We have a book on organization, a book on readiness, a book on business models. We didn't actually dream at the start that we'd spend so much time on that type of activity, but it was necessary for us to, to get to know the maritime industry and for the maritime industry's position as we saw uh, when we started the project. Another reflection, uh, the amount of companies and company hours, we've had 18,000 hours we've collected in, or we've had, not collected in, but have had in industry uh, co-financing. Very, very many thanks to those of you in the, in the room today who are from some of those companies. Interestingly, almost every company we've had in the consortium uh, has changed uh, its name or its organization or the contact person bar about two uh, throughout the course of the project which says something about the dynamics of the, of the branch as it is at the moment. We believe that the learning effect of the project uh, is great. This is a rather intangible thing, but we, uh, we can measure by how many people in the maritime industry said product service system four years ago and how many can spell it today. That could be one way of doing it, but we have a, a feeling that, that the, the general baseline of knowledge is, is very, very high uh, after this project. The partnerships we see arising, with Tom, for example, with the other companies, with the Danish Maritime uh, Branch Organization, we see very promising. We'd like to very much continue those. We believe we've had a significant impact on teaching, and one of the student helpers who are here today, and thanks to you guys as well, uh, said to me, wow, we've just had a course on product service systems, and, and it's all true what you said. And I said, of course it is. <laughs> but, and then I thought about it, and said, yes, it is, and this is exactly uh, related. And then a lot of the teaching examples we've taken in the, the teaching are directly from this project. Sorry, Louisa. Um, this has been interesting. Some of the companies, it took us these three attempts to get the project, and by the time we got the project, the companies wanted the results. Of course, we've been waiting for three or four years before we started the project, and this has been quite an interesting uh, challenge to produce the results and also the research at the same time. And this is the nature of a, this type of a research project. So now, first now, we're really ready for the next innovation consortium. We've got all the tools, we just need to apply them and try them out. So if any of you are a game, we're really interested in uh, going further to the next one. I've talked a little bit about these uh, uh, projects, there's a little bit double, I'm going to go beyond that. Distribution of the workbooks. Just a, a small note on practicality, there's no such thing as a free workbook or a free... Uh, uh, so please, those of you who haven't filled in your timesheets yet uh, for today, please do that and uh, then you get your workbooks. Just to, uh, as a matter of uh, closing up, I showed you this group of core staff at the beginning and these are the people who have been working on the project and who have in some way or other been, been funded by the, uh, the research projects, not least the, uh, the middle layer of the PhD staff and, and the consultants here. Um, we have a steering group uh, consisting of, 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 Jenny and, uh, of Jens Peter and Eric, who have been guiding us uh, the whole way through the project and with uh, Talk Lame from IPU as the uh, chairman. We've got the two guys helped us with a lot of the programming of the, uh, the tools, some former staff who are still in touch with us but in, in new jobs now. But what, what I think is in fact the most impressive from this list of people and in fact it's not complete, I've forgotten the last question and I don't know why, but they're there. But is the list of uh, different students we've involved here and I think that really is uh, uh, a sign of the way in which this has had an effect on education and, and, uh, and, uh, and teaching. And look at the balance between the, the males and the females that Juliana was talking about before, there's more girls than boys here on the slide of the different people who've been involved in the projects, either with a particular company or, to, or generally along the whole consortium. And I think some of, all of you must have seen at least one of these people in your company throughout the last uh, three and a half, four years. And there's a place for Larsen question down here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so finally, please look at our uh, Portuguese website and uh, enjoy it. It's going to be there for some time. I'm not going to close because I didn't open. So Yeni is going to close the, uh, the day uh, today. And, uh, but from my side, many, many thanks for coming today and for your your involvement in the project. Okay, yeah, 
Hello? Yeah. I think it will be, make it very short because it has been a long day. We have heard a lot of words and I assume everybody is getting a little bit tired and maybe need a little bit of refreshment soon. And I also understand that the books will be outside. So now you have heard it by words. What I like today has been that we have both had the theoretical but also the actually the real world and have some examples from both sides because that is what is important here. That is that we actually can make these two areas to connect and create into innovation and research and development. I hope you all will take the books home, read them, reflect on them and say where do we see the future coming because then that is the areas where we need to go next. As Tim mentioned, uh, that could be a new innovation consortium, that could be a lot of things. We believe that there's a lot of areas where we as an industry should work together instead of everybody sitting and inventing the same things because some of the problems we meet in the day is the same problems and their cooperation is better. We also, as mentioned earlier and by the Minister, that there is a lot of money coming if the industry is doing it the right way and asking, searching for the money, but at least there's a possibility in this private-public partnership where we together, Danish Maritime, together with the, the Danish ship owners are working to create a platform from which these money and the uh, authorities, of course, uh, in order to create a platform so we can ensure that this money can go into the maritime world in order to improve the competitiveness of the industry. And we will, of course, do that together with the research institutions so we have the full picture. I hope you have enjoyed the day. I hope you feel you have something with your home. And uh, please go outside, enjoy it a little bit before you can leave. Thank you.